Alright, so I just wanted to give you a little demo of the PH ORP, or the FORP Duino Shield. Um, right now I only have the PH meter hooked up, or the PH probe, sorry. But uh, this one right here is for ORP as well, you just plug it in. We've got uh, one variable resistor, well, for each of them to control the gain. Uh, there's no slope adjustment, but I've had it hooked up for several days now and I don't notice any drifting so we could put it in but it would make the board bigger than uh, than the shield size so I didn't want to do that so basically what we do is you can see the aquarium right now where are we there we go So we're going to just do a shot of the LCD as we do this. Alright, so we've got uh, temperature and stuff. The pH is jumping around, but that's just the code. So we go in, and basically what we're going to do is uh, you can see the reading right now is hovering say around 600, 605. It's not jumping around too much, 606, 603. So about three, so that's fairly accurate. Well, that's really accurate. It gives us more accuracy than we need. Um, and basically that's how this works. It just, we, we to configure it, um, you place it in pH 10 solution and you change it to read 800. So, and then we place it in pH 7 solution, and then we figure out what that value is. And then you can just have an equation where you use two known values to figure out this third unknown value. Now, a pH of, or uh, sorry, a reading of about 600 is about uh, 8, 8.1. However, the math is uh, not quite right in the sketch. So, but this is actually accurate. We've got no no jumping around. So basically, that's as simple as it gets. Um, you can't get well with a DIY project. You can't get too much simpler than that to configure it. Uh, now the pH is going to be really, really wrong. Um, but it's uh, going to be used to control, you know, uh, the pH up and pH down things. Um, in the future. So, we'll give you another shot of the uh, the Fort Duino board. You can see there's lots of components on it. It's pretty simple. It uses two op amps. Um, <clears throat> the high impedance, they're the TL072s, and then we use a charge pump to give the virtual ground. Um, the, the variable resistors are to adjust the gain and that's pretty much it we've got two BNC connectors now one problem right now is uh, you can't stack them this one has to be on the top uh, simply because the BNC connectors are too big uh, but I, I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them thank you